everyone. My name is Maricela and I'm a first generation homeschool mom to a second grader and I wanted to share the science curriculum that I use this year and it really helped me decide what I'm going to use for my next year in third grade. So this is the book that I got exploring creation with zoology one flying creatures of the fifth day and there's actually two more which is swimming creatures of the fifth day and land creatures of the fifth day and i let my student decide which one he wanted to learn about this year so this is the one he decided to learn about and i realized that you can pretty much make this curriculum as hard or as easy as you want for example there's they're all broken this book is broken down by lessons and there's 12 lessons in this book and it's lesson two is about what makes a bird a bird so it can be a pretty lengthy lesson but then again you decide what you want to do with that and there's experiments that you can make that are in the book you can to sometimes buy the things that it asks you to uh to be able to do the, the the activities in the book but i came upon this lap book um from a journey through learning and i have the link down below if you want to check that out this really made navigating through this book easier so because this one broke down the lessons in the book and this is lesson two this is an activity for lesson two so it talked about what makes a bird a bird and then my son would fill out its feathers the answer and then he would color the bird these come all in sheets these all these all come in sheets and each of these is a lesson. So you read, you don't have to read, you don't go through the whole lesson, all, all of the chapter, which is like a chapter each lesson. So it just goes, it picks in, in chunks and then you get the activity that comes in for the lap book and you cut it out and you work work it out and you, and you learn what you, you learn just what you, just enough to get you thinking about what a bird, what, you know, the flying creatures of the worlds are and all that stuff. And it's pretty neat. My son did learn a lot. I also did as well with him. And there's a lot of little tiny activities. And for example, flying, definition of takeoff, steering, flapping and gliding. So, and he would just write just by remembering, okay, what does this mean? What does each word meant? Um, and this is another lesson about what makes an egg. And so I thought that was pretty neat and it made it so much easier to be able to go through the whole book. And we pretty much finished early on. It didn't take the whole, um, like just in a couple of months. So you could always add more to it if you want to if you realize your son really likes science then you can add more to it uh, zoology what i like about apologia zoology is that they come with lab kits this year i didn't get a lab kit because i didn't know about it early on but then i realized that okay it would be nice like for example we were able to create a bird feeder and put it outside, hang it outside and see the birds coming and eating the seeds. And we realized it was pretty cool to see how much birds eat. Like they eat a lot. So that was cool. That was nice to, to learn about birds. And we also learned about what they use to make their nests. They use strings, bottle caps, mud all kinds of things that they use little materials to make their nest and so my son he went outside and he tried to do his own nest and pick up all these objects that common objects around that or just 
grass, dry grass, and all that, all those things. And so it was pretty neat. So next year, we decided to get zoology swimming creatures of the fifth day, and I'm gonna get a, a lab kit for that. There's a there's a book, the notebook that comes with it as well, zoology notebook journal. And I got the junior book because it's easier for him than the regular book. And I realized that there's so much that you can do with this book. There's the copy work. And it either comes in handwritten or in cursive. And my son practiced. He would read this and he would practice writing it down. And you can also have him write down in cursive. But this year he just he just learned the, how to start tracing the letters in cursive. And there's so many activities in this book in itself. You don't need a lap book and this. If you're gonna have a lap book, that, that's good enough. But look at we didn't really get through this all because there's just so much and it's not intended for you to do every single activity because it, it can become really too much. But it really works if you have more kids that are going to be using the same material as well. Like my three-year-old, it'll it's going to really be good for him. And I realize that I don't even have to buy another lap book in the future if I don't want to because... There's a lot that you can use. Like you can cut it out, cut things out, and make they have a little. They're all, you can make your own little lap gut in here, and you could write bird facts. So you can go. There's so many ways you could go about using this book. So that is pretty cool. An example. There's another example that I didn't. It's just a lot, like a lot of activities. So. So uh, that's what I have to share about zoology. I hope that it helped in some way so that you be able to choose a science curriculum if you're starting as a homeschool mom. I really recommend it so that you can start get a starting point because I know that you can get bombarded and overwhelmed by so many science curriculum. But I think this was nice and simple to use that as an introduction and go from there. Thank you so much for watching my video, taking the time, and I would really appreciate your comments down below, and have a good day.